the Joe Rogan experience. How long can we go? I mean, if you, if, if, look, let's take economics out of it. What would you think if there was no concern whatsoever about economic loss and the damage to the economy? What would you recommend in terms of just from clearly, just purely from a medical perspective? Well, the problem is from a medical and public health perspective, we don't really know where this virus is heading. You know, it's, uh, I forget what Dr. Fauci said, the virus makes the decisions, we don't make the decisions. So, uh, although not entirely true, because we can make, we can uh, enact inter- intervention. So, uh, hopefully by the summer, this is not going to be a huge problem, but, but we don't know. And then we also don't know if this thing's coming back. So what do the out years look like? Is this, does the, even if it goes down this summer, does it, does it come back up again in the fall? Does it come back up again early Can I pause you for a second there? The same, what's that? Why would that happen? Why would it come back? Why would it, why would it go away and then come back in the fall? Well, there's a few things that are happening. One, all the social distancing uh, potentially could interrupt the transmission. Uh, we use this number called the reproductive number, which describes the number of people that get infected if a single individual has it. So the number right now is between two and four, depending on whose numbers you look at. The idea is you bring that below one by the social distancing. There's also the question of whether there's seasonality uh, to the to this virus. And uh, again, uh, this guy Mark Lipsitch has done some studies to show that uh, there there seems the virus infection doesn't seem to be as severe in areas that have uh, higher temperatures and, and greater humidity. It's a bit of a soft call, but maybe there's going to be some seasonality uh, to this as well. And then and so let's use an example of another seasonal virus, influenza, you know, which peaks of course in the winter, then goes down. Uh, in the summer months, it never really disappears, but it, it 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 goes down. But then in the southern hemisphere, it's the opposite. So in the southern hemisphere, peak flu season is our summer, their winter in places like Australia, and then in the tropics, it's about the same all year round. So we don't really understand seasonality. Potentially, the virus could show start showing uh, a pattern like that. And then the question is, does it come back year after year after year like flu does? Uh, or or and has show some kind of seasonality. These are all scenarios that that are being looked at. So, for instance, our our vaccine, if it's used, uh, and, and goes you know goes through all the clinical testing hurdles, probably is not going to be used for this 2020 epidemic. If it's used at all, it's going to be used in the out years, uh, if if this virus starts to come back uh, on a regular basis. 